round about two and a half million years ago, we start to make something awesome. We start our first technology and we start to make tools. Tools are amazing. Without tools, we wouldn't be able to do half of the jobs that we do today. But these started off really a long, long time ago. Now, like I say, two and a half million years ago, we're going to head to Ethiopia, a place in Africa. This is some of the evidence we found where we've got a deer jaw. That deer jaw has been sliced in a couple of places. Now, we know it wasn't something like a metal tool doing this because we weren't using that kind of technology. What we do know, though, is that in that area, there was a lot of flint and chert. Around the area, we can find sharpened stones. And by sharpened, I mean those stones have been taken, hit by something else, so that they would crack into two things. That would give a really sharp edge on the end. Perfect for cutting into a delicious deer so you can get its tongue. Blah, 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 blah. Yummy. So, these different things would help us to grow as people. Now, over time, if we think of our brain like an engine, our brain or our engine started to grow. And this is because we had more fuel available for it. The more delicious meat we started to eat, the more calories we start to take in, the more it allows our brain to grow and grow and grow, making us much smarter and allowing us to develop the tools that we're using. So, over about half a million years, we start to develop ding, far more sophisticated tools like hand axes. Hand axes are still made out of the same materials, but this time they've been finished in a different way. A large stone has been cracked to make a better shape. Then more precise tools have been used to chip it away, giving a much better shape. A hand axe like this can be used to pierce, slice, cut, and helps us develop even more technology. Now, jumping forward in time again, and really we're looking towards the Mesolithic and the Neolithic periods at this point, we start to make really special stuff. Using those same stones, we can make different shapes and different items in that sort of sense. But we start to make handles for these tools as well. We start to glue them on with different kinds of things like pine tar. We start to tie them on with different strings made out of things like plant fibres, or even things like sinew, the horrible stuff inside you that sticks your muscles to your bones. These tools are far more sophisticated, and they allow us to do lots of different jobs. We've got a full toolkit, so we can go out, we can hunt, we can gather, and we can even start to farm at different points as well. Now, set you a couple of tasks. First thing I want you to do is have a think about where this stone comes from. What kind of stone is it? See if you can research it. Is it igneous? Is it sedimentary? I just don't know. Where in the world can these stones be found? Because if you can find where these stones are found, it will give you an idea where we started to develop our tools or where our tools travelled from. The second thing I want you to start having a look at is see if you can design your own toolkit. Could you design um, a hunter's toolkit? Would you need arrows? Would you need spears? Would you need knives? You can either draw it, you can either write about it, or if you're feeling creative, you could even go and make it. Just be careful though if you're cracking stones open, because they are super sharp. The final thing I want you to go away and do is have a look to see if you can make some string. String is weird stuff because, like I say, it can be made out of the sinew, the stuff that holds your muscle to your bone. It could be made from plant fiber or it could even be made from animal hair. It's not easy, but see if you can twist it together and get something like this. Right, well, thank you very much and I'll see you again soon.